all the bank accounts. OK, uh, go to the notepad, ma'am. Uh, sorry, go to the Word document. Go to the Word document. Try to write down. The point is check the uh, Q point is check. Open item management is activated for the bank accounts. Check open item management is open. Check open item management is activated. Open item management is activated. Activated for the banks. Open item management is activated for the banks. For the banks. See all of you, you cannot directly um, activate the open item management. OK, you cannot directly activate the open item management in FS double zero when you are having different types of balances. OK, for that particular bank, then what is the? Uh, I mean, uh, what is the another thing to activate this open item management? Either you need to close the balances or else you have to run the one transaction code. Yeah, uh, put one point mum here under the Q point only. Now use transaction code. No, no, no. Uh, just give use transaction code. Uh, give space. Just uh, give use transaction code. Mm. Use transaction code. F I N S underscore. F I. F I N S. Underscore activate underscore O I M. underscore O I M. Hmm. So this is the most important point right now we have. Go to the SAP system and try to see the details. Take out new screen. Take out new screen. And go to the transaction code F I N S underscore activate underscore. F I N S underscore. Activate. Whenever you are in new screen, don't use the slash ends and all. OK, all of you. If you are in the existed screen, OK, so to remove that existed screen, OK, existing screen and you can able to use the slash and that's it. OK, now see here you can able to give the GL account. OK, right now we have activated each and every GL account here and the company code also with the help of test run. After removing the test run, you can go for the program. All. OK, that's fine. Yeah, already we have activated. So if that one is not activated, so activate uh, open item management for that particular GL account with the help of company code. OK, all of you. So that is the important step. Yeah, give slash in. Give slash in. Now what we need to do is we have to see the Feban. OK, why we need to use the Feban? So Feban is not an automatic uh, electronic bank statement uh, execution process. Feban is just a manual interruption process. OK, whatever the um, errors that you are facing based on that uh, Feban, you can able to select that entry then you can able to process that entry with the help of manual interruption. OK, so go to the transaction code Feban. Go to the transaction code Feban. Yes. Give the company code. Give the company code, give the house bank and uh, account ID, give the currency. Bank accounting status is all items and subledger account is also status is all items. Then go to the execute option. So whatever the FF underscore five that we have generated, all these entries should be generated in the Faban also. See, Faban is nothing but the displaying of the bank statements and all. You got my point. Now I will show you. 
Select thirty five thousand rupees, ma'am. Select thirty five thousand rupees. Ah, uh, so so this is the thirty five thousand rupees. After deducting the thirty five thousand rupees from the five lakh, it will be four lakh sixty five thousand rupees with the help of uh, uh, transaction type. Okay, external transaction type that is NMSC. Come back, come back. I will show you. Uh, 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 yeah, go to the document. See here. See this document is three nine zero eight two. Double click on this document, ma'am. Double click on this document. Hmm. It will take you to the entry level. OK, so displaying of the bank statements and all and at the same time you can able to correct it. OK, come back. No issue. If you want to reverse the document, you can directly reverse the document. Now it is not at all important. Why? Because we don't have any errors, right? So here uh, you can able to see uh, if you are having anything like uh, uh, 35,000 things and all. If you want to see the uh, details and all, OK, you can able to uh, uh, see the details with the help of uh, scanning options and all. Now uh, we don't have any errors, so that's why it is not giving anything. OK, so go to the log, ma'am. Come down, go to the log. Mm, log. So here, all of you, what is the interpretation algorithm that we are using? So we have used for the number search. OK, there is no any important here and uh, document number was posted in that particular company code. OK, so that is very, very important when it comes to the 39082. Then go to the attachment list. Go to the attachment list. So here in that attachment, we are not uh, attached to anything with the help of a particular thing. Um, select this 35,000, ma'am. Select this 35,000. Select this 35,000. Uh, come back. One step back. Mm. OK, manual interruption. Anything if you want to see uh, anything. I mean, if you are having any errors, OK, like uh, in the bank account, uh, you have green color mark, right? If you are having red color, Automatically system will going to give you the FABAN details. OK, what is the FABAN details here? Um, I think so yesterday we have faced that error right now. In that FABAN. Where is that FABAN? OK, if you are having anything, you can just select that one. You can able to scan it as well as the, you can able to simulate that one with the help of posting document. That is uh, fine. OK, you can able to see the FABAN details and all, whatever the interruption things that we have. You can able to see it. So we have generated 100. We have generated 100. We have generated 25,000. We have generated 35,000. We have generated 500. So all the statements are generated. OK, that is very, very important point. Uh, yeah. Ma'am, double click on this 100, ma'am. First 100. Double click on this first 100. Mm, double click on it. Mm. Mm, come back. Come back. One step back. And go to the document. Uh, here, document is dead, right? Go to the documents. Uh, OK, for this main bank account, it is generated. Double click on 3902. Double click on 3902. Mm. Double click on 3902. Mm. See all of you. Bank charges account data to the main bank account creditor. OK, go to the Skype, ma'am. Already we have entries. Bank account data to the main bank account uh, creditor. Go to the Skype. See for the bank charges. What is the charges? Bank charges account data to the main bank account creditor. OK, so interest deduction. Interest deduction one more hundred. Come back. One more hundred. Uh, go to the SAP system. Yeah, one step back, ma'am. One step back. Mm, double click on another hundred. 
Hmm. Double click on it. Yeah, come back. One step back. This is for the interest expenses. And double click on this uh, 39082 uh, document number. So this is just for the. <clears throat> uh, come back. What is the interest expenses that we have? Uh, drag to the downside. No, no, no. It is uh, just selecting the. Uh, mm, double click on it, mom. OK, so it is here. So 39084. OK, so 39084. Double click on this 39084. Uh, see all of you. Interest expense data to the main bank account creator. Go to the Skype. Interest expenses data to the. Interest expense data to the. Uh, see all of you main bank account creditor. OK, so this is the interest deduction. What is the interest accumulation? OK, so you have you got 500 right for uh, getting the. Uh, payments for getting the payments. Uh, for uh, customers, they will going to charge it. OK. Yeah, double click on 500 mom 500 status green color status in the Feban. Come back. Come back. Mm, come down, double click on. Uh, yeah, mm, double click on it. Yeah, go to this uh, 39085. Mm. So main bank account data to the interest income account uh, creditor. Go to that uh, thing now. Interest accumulation. Skype, see all of you. Main bank account data to the interest income account creditor. So this is the way you can able to see the FABAN details. OK, with the help of statements, so you got complete entry strength. OK, so do the practice and you will going to get a clarity. OK, all of you. And do you have any doubts? Malika, Mam, Mamata, Mam and Venkat. OK, fine. And uh, I mean, do you want me to explain the complete uh, interview process and all? I think so. I have already explained you the interview process, complete things. So if you if you go through this uh, word document, automatically you will going to get complete details all of you. Okay, right, all of you. 